how can I start racing at the Nürburgring is a question that I get asked a lot and last year I was fortunate enough to be able to afford the racing season at the Nürburgring with many thanks to you who have donated to my GoFundMe page also my sponsor Yosu and of course all the moral support from family and friends so I should be able to answer this question but let's take a step back be able to afford are the most important keywords in that sentence because I hate to be a mood breaker but at the end of the day it costs a lot of money so you need a lot of money pretty much zero talent because nobody is going to care about what you're gonna do whether you're gonna earn some comps with it that you can share on social media or with your friends or maybe you need some luck to get to certain places but Motorsport is business. Many racing teams make their money or even survive in basics by renting out the cars to gentlemen drivers who are wanting to make their life dream come true of becoming a race car driver. And they also get some money from sponsors in return for exposure. So this is basically how it works. So if you're asking how can I make a career, how can I make a living out of being racing, well, unless you're five years old and you have parents that are willing to invest hundreds and thousands of euros in a karting program, racing programs that will lead eventually to some serious uh, driving series like Formula 3 or like touring cars. And eventually you may become a factory driver. So this means being signed by a manufacturer who really need to fastest guys who will put their cars on podium, which will be used as a marketing to sell their cars as a promotion. But let's not get too deep into those details. Let's have a look how much racing at the Nürburgring costed me. So last year I was racing a BMW M240R in RCN and VLN series. RCN is a starting series which is a step after GLP but a lot of people skip GLP they start with RCN which is kind of a sprint slash time attack series and after that you can move on to VLN which is nowadays will be renamed to NLS or NES Nürburgring Endurance Series which is a four hour endurance racing series so you have one six hour race and this eventually will lead also participation of the 24 hour race but let's start with with RCN with the basics I already told you in my vlogs where I showed you my racing adventures at RCN that for that car it costed 2,800 euros for an RCN race for a seat. A seat, this means that you are sharing the car with someone else or if you have the money and stamina to drive the full two stints, you can do it as well. And this basically covers everything. The participation, the fee, the car, the consumables, the fuels, also insurance. Speaking of insurance, however, as you probably know, I found out the very specific details of that. The car is insured. This means that if the car costs 80 or 100,000 euros, you don't have to pay full amount in case of a total write-off, but only 8,000 euros. So 2,800 euros for one RCN race. I did a total of five races. This means already 14,000 euros. And one of them, I had my very famous impact with the Brightshed wall. Additional 8,000 euros on tops brings us to 22,000 euros already. But wait, there is more. My goal was to get the Nordschleife Permit A to be able to race the 24 hour race. So for that, I needed to do 18 laps in VLN over two races. The first race that we did was a VLN six hour race. Most of the teams drive with three people to split the costs and not to be too exhausted. In our case, our driver number three bailed out the last moment. So we had to cover 17,000 euro fee by the two of us. This means another eight and a half thousand euros for my first VLN race. Then it was time to do another VLN race to complete the Nordschleife permit, which was a four hour race. So it costed a bit less. 6,750 euros. But as you may know, in the practice of it, someone made a very eager pass and pushed me off the track, which resulted in another 8,000 euros of the insurance money. On top, during the training, the recovery and barrier fees were not insured, so there was a couple of thousand euros on top. So this brings a total of racing and the Nürburgring alone close to 50,000 euros. For that money, I could have literally bought the house nearby the Nürburgring. Yes, the property is that cheap over here, but it was lots and lots of fun and many many unforgettable and priceless memories Wait, you can actually put a price to them But uh, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also this math lesson So now you know how much it costs uh, racing on the Nürburgring So basically if you want to do one race 2,800 euros, you can get started, right? Um, no, not really. Sorry for that 
So first of all, you can also have cheaper cars, of course. So like the, the cheapest cars are around 2000 euro for a seat, which would be like something as a BMW E36. But with that alone, you are not done yet because it takes a lot of preparations. So step one, you need to have a racing license. To get a racing license in Germany, you need to do a racing license course, something that you know from my videos, you go to Motorsport Academy, it costs 599 euros and then you're set, right? Well, basically, yes, but you also need a car. So either you have your own car or you get a rental car, which would be roughly a thousand euros. Then you also need to travel there. So like 100 euros travel costs, 100 euros hotel costs, probably fuel for your car. Maybe you need to fly from a different continent if you want to have a German license in particular. I don't know the license regulations of your country, but basically it's pretty much the same. Sometimes you need to do a couple of more races before you're able to drive the Nürburgring to get the international D racing license. But this is something like it, it differs per country. Right now I'm only talking about Germany. But once you pass the license course, you can start racing, right? Well, you actually need the actual license first. And before you get the actual license, you need to apply for that at DMSB, pay 228 euros last year, I believe, for a national A license. And then you get that, right? Uh, well, you also need to do a medical check, which usually costs around 100 euros and then you will get your actual plastic license. On top of that, once you move on, you also need to get a notch life a permit, permit B or permit A, which were 79 euros last year, and then you can race pretty much the whole thing. The international C license is, by the way, 279, but when you upgrade from one license to another, you just need to pay the differences in those licenses. You don't have to pay 279 euros on top of 228. By the way, Germany offers pretty cool option you can have a pseudonym so basically you can attach a different name like boosted boris or there's a guy called bugs bunny at racing if you want to stay anonymous all right you got your plastics and now you can race right well you need racing gear bro so first of all and pretty much obvious you would need a helmet what am i doing this could lead to a very expensive mistake and racing alone is already an expensive uh, mistake by itself but anyhow helmet and you probably want to upgrade its visor Moreover, communicating with the team from inside your car with the pits is probably a good idea, right? So this helmet is equipped with a built-in microphone, but for the headphones you need to buy them separately. And in this case, 249 euros. So by now probably AirPods are not that expensive anymore, right? In addition to the helmet, a Hans device to protect your neck in case of an injury. And I can tell you, frontal impact with a concrete wall at 120 kilometers an hour, I had no issues with that walking out, didn't need any medical assistance. So now basically waiting till adrenaline is dropping down. I can say that Hans has definitely saved my life maybe well definitely my neck so these things work and you really do not to want to save money on safety then you would need racing fireproof underwear which consists out of a pair of socks a pair of pants a shirt and finally a balaclava but when you have racing series consisting out of two or even more days you start realizing that it might be pleasant to have a second set of underwear with you you know, I'll be very happy if I would get these socks for Christmas next time. Then, of course, you would need an actual race suit. To complement that, a pair of gloves for additional fire protection, but also grip for the steering wheel. And finally, a pair of shoes. You probably would want to have a handy bag to carry all that stuff around as well. And related to the point I made earlier regarding the underwear, you probably would like to dry your helmet and gloves and the rest of your clothes between the stints or between the days, something I realized during my endurance racing at the Nürburgring. And before the 24 hours race of Spa, I purchased this helmet and gloves dryer that I then forgot to take with me to the race. That's why it's still brand new in the box and back, but I'm pretty sure we'll change it this year. All right, so you have your licenses, you got your gear, you found yourself a race team that you can race with. So basically now you're set with your budget, right? Well, in my case, I'm fortunate enough to have an apartment in Nürburgring. So when we talk about racing at the Nürburgring, I basically can just like get out of bed, brush my teeth, 
put on my racing suit and five minutes before the briefing I can start walking towards the paddock and here I am guys all in time right but for a majority of people they need to travel to the Nürburgring get hotel costs sometimes they traveling from a different continent so the flights are very expensive so traveling costs can be a lot but that's a related per person However, what's not related per person, it is kind of related, but pretty much for everyone, you need to start getting experience. So, we cannot assume that you're already pro driver because by you probably don't need to watch this video, but you need to start somewhere. So practice makes perfect. So you need to attend track days or drive to Ristafata. You need to build a car or like rent a car or you can maybe rent the, the actual race car that you're gonna race. Again, related to that are travel costs, hotel stay, flights, driving, and also there accidents can happen. So you need to be ready for unforeseeable costs. And if you say, okay, I'm gonna practice on a simulator, a proper sim rig costs a lot of money. Instructors related to that costs a lot of money. The time that you would spend investing, analyzing the track, data analysis, like your driving style, it will cost you either time, which is again, time is related to money. And I don't know who, like some people need only 10 laps because they're a professional factory driver and they kind of like, okay, I know the track. People who just start from zero, they need hundreds of laps and even then still, like me, we're gonna be making mistakes and will not be perfect. At the end of the day, it makes a lot of fun. Like I told you earlier, you have unforgettable experiences and this is something that not everyone can do. So if you have the money for it, you should definitely go for it. And if you're discouraged by the numbers that I mentioned, think of that GT3 driving season, whether it's Blancpain, okay, it's not called Blancpain anymore, but the World Endurance Series GT3 by SRO, um, or Nürburgring GT3 goes into a million euros if we talk about formula one season 250 million euros per team per hour in average which is pretty damn expensive so now a tourist and a yearly subscription to drive the nürburgring unlimited for 2200 euros doesn't sound that expensive anymore or driving a track day right you can of course just drive one or two rcn races in a lower level car at the nürburgring or like a lower entrance series like a time attack competition and be absolutely happy i'll be honest with you for me driving a slow car in a lower racing series like time attack or the 24 hours of spa with citroen c1 that i did earlier this year brings as much or even more joy than driving a lot more expensive car i mean if you're willing to spend that money to drive a gt3 car and at the end of the day of course you would get a lot more exposure which is good for publicity and likes then it's one thing but always remember do it for yourself it doesn't matter what other people think pick the right choice what suits you and i hope now you understand where the saying comes from that if you want to become a millionaire in racing you can start as a billionaire and let me give you one advice if you have kids let them do drugs because that's less expensive than racing no don't do drugs don't don't do just just have fun at racing. See you at the track, guys. Well, that's it for today, guys. <laughs>